And then when I go home, I open the bag. Oh no, what was in the bag, Shane? Everything was in there except the guacamole. Oh no, not the guacanoles. Oh no. Ooh -wee. Shane, that was the bestest ghost stories I've ever heard, Papa. I know, and the scariest part, Officer Rufus, was that it was based off of a true story. It really happened. I hope Chipotle never forgets my guacanoles. That's Terum Fonz. Okay, Officer Rufus, now it's your turn to tell a scary story. Oh, Shane's, I don't know if I know any scary stories. Of course you do. Everybody knows at least one scary story. Okay, let me think for a moment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. I got some good scary stories for you. Okay, I'm ready. What's your scary story? It's the stories of my lives, Shane. No, that's scary, y'all. Okay, now, how does this story start again? Hmm. Oh, yes. Longs ago, in another times and dimensions, I was born, y'all. Officer Rufus, you weren't born in another dimension. Shades, who's telling this stories? Okay, now, back in Doms, I was born into a very rich and pansy family, y'all. My mama, her name Virginia, y'all, she heads me and my twins brother and brought us home to our mansions to meet our daddy, y'all. Winston, look, it's your sons. Oh, you had the baby stalling. Well done, yes. Now let's take a look at them, shall we? Yes, great darling, yes. They look acceptable to take on the family name. Now I'm off to play some golf, darling. Good luck with the, um, uh, the babies. Oh, yes, babies, yes. Just, uh, just keep them out of my hair and we'll get along swell, yes. Now, uh, goodbye, darling. My daddy was always off playing golf with his rich friends, and he thought children should be seems and not heard, okay? Now, my mama wasn't very interested in being a mama either. She just hung around the house and ate cheese puffs, and her and my daddy went on vacations all over the world, y'all, and they always left us babies behind. They always said, We don't want you babies to be on our vacation. You'll just annoy us and we need to relax. So you two just stay home. We'll be back when we feel like it. Now, when I grows up a little, I accidentally went to schools, y'all. I turns out to be the smartest outs of all my siblings, especially my twin brother Groupius. Now, which planet is the biggest in our solar system? Rufus? Jupiter. It's 300 times bigger than the Earth and its diameter is about 140,000 kilometers. Wow, that's impressive, Rufus. You earn a gold star and an A-plus for the year. Hmm, stupid, Rufus. Now, Groupus, how big is the Earth? I don't know, I'm only sick. Well, that's unfortunate for you. You fail. What? That's not fair, y'all. Well, maybe you should be smarter like your brother, Rufus. <sighs> Now, Groofus begins to get jellums of my super smart brains and how his was basically a bowl of sketty. He keeps getting jellums until one day he did something bad, y'all. One year, while my mama and daddies were on vacations in Fiji or some islands or somethings, Gabe's and I gave Groofus an IATVs, y'all. Wow, look, Groofus. Mama and daddy gave us ATVs for Christmas. Wow, these are super cool, y'all. I can't believe it. We're only eight and they gave us ATVs. Mama and daddy are the best. Wait, these say they both belong to you. Wait, what? Yes, this one says two Rufus from daddy and this one says two Rufus from mama. Well, that's weird. Maybe they forgot how to spell your name. That's mean. You don't get both ATVs and Rufus gets nothing. That's not right. What am I going to do with two ATVs? You can have the other one. Come on, let's go ride him. I'll wait for you at the stairs. Little did I know that my brother Groupus was up to something evil, y'all. <laughs> we'll see who the smart one is now, idiot Rufus. I didn't find any helmets, Groupus. 
We shouldn't ride our ATVs without them. It's not safe. Yes, we can. Don't be an idiot. Just get on the ATVs and let's go. Come on, Groupus. No pushing near the stairs. Oopsie. Groupus, no! I was asleep for a very long time. I think they said it was something like two years or something like that. Now that's a long time. Anyways, I woke up in a hernspital, y'all. Oh no, where's Amza? Why is I talking like this? Ah, good, you're finally awake. What's going on, y'all? Oh no, this is what I feared. Um, you had an accident, Rufus. You've been in a coma for two years. Two years? Wait, what's a coma? It seemed like you lost all your intelligence, and you now have some short-term and long-term memory loss. What? What is memory losses, y'all? It means from now on you're gonna barely remember anything. I'm sorry. Also, you knocked out all your teeth, except for two. I only got two teeth! Yeah, but it could be worse. You could be dead. Now you seem okay, I guess. Uh, we'll send you home now. Yay, let's go home, y'all. So, I left the Hernspital, y'all, and went back home. It took me three days to remember where I lived, but I found it. Wow, this my house? This is a nice house, y'all. Oh my goodness, is this a magic trick? You looks like me, y'all. No, it's not magic. I'm your twin brother, idiot. Oh, that's nice. Hi, I'm Rufus. Nice to meet you, idiot. No, my name is Groupus. You're the idiot now. <laughs> but my name is Rufus. What's an idiot, y'all? Listen, use an idiot, all right? Your name is Rufus and use an idiot. Oh, all right. Well, I'm not in the coma anymore, y'all. I'm Bex. Did mama and daddy miss me, y'all? No one missed you. What? Wow, you must have had a hard time hearing things. I said, no one missed you, y'all. Oh, well, that make Rufus sad, y'all. Why don't you go find somewhere else to live? No one wants you here anymore, y'all. <laughs> okay, right. I'll leave now. Goodbye, Groupus. Later, idiot. Now get off our pern pretties before I call the pern lease. Now, Ossiparupus didn't know where's to go, y'all. So Rufus did the only thing he thought he could do. He could find some nice trees to live in. Now is that I don't have the house, I need to find somewheres to live, y'all. Hmm. Oh, this tree look nice. Oh, I wish I could just live back with my family, y'all. But if they don't want Rufus, that's their fault. All I do is just live on my own. I just wish these woods weren't so scary, y'all. Oz, hello, I'm Rufus. You's a squirrel, right? Wells, Mr. Squirrel, does you want to be my friends? I don't have any friends, but you can be my friends. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, where'd you go, y'all? Mr. Squirrel, is you playing hidings and seekings? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll go find you, y'all. Oh, hi, stranger. I'm Rufus. Has you seen a squirm around here? Little did Rufus know that wasn't a Norman ma'am that he found in the woods. Huh, you look kind of funny. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Rufus was abducted by aliens, y'all. Ooh, where am I, y'all? You were on my ship, human. Ooh wee! I'm on a ship. Wait, where is the water, y'all? Um, no, this is a spaceship in space. Oh wow, Rupus is in space, y'all. This is wild. Yes. Now I have some questions for you, human. Okay, so I'll try my best. What is that on your head? Oh, this? This my mullet, y'all. Mmm, mullet. Mullet? Yes, I've always had this mullet ever since I was born. I've never seen something so magnificent, human. I must have it. Wells, I only have one mullet, but I think I bet you could grow your own one day, y'all. 
I have never seen a human like you before. You are the only human I've seen that owns a mullet, and you only have two teeth? That's right! Wow, you really are something special. Our ears? Yes, we usually abduct stupid humans. They cry and act like we are monsters. But you're not scared, and you seem like the smartest of all humans. Wells, that's not accurate at all, but that's a nice thing to say. Thanks, alien ma'am. Allow me to return you back to your planet. Forgive me, all wise one. That's all right. Can we be friends? No, I am not worthy of your friendship, human Rufus. Goodbye forever. Okay, so bye, y'all. I was so excited that I rams home. I thought that if Groupus Mama and Daddy found out I had friends with an aliens, they would have to let me live with them again. Hellos, Mama, Daddy, Groupus, where's you at, y'all? But when I got to the house and did some in Burstum games, I didn't find anyone there. Oh no, y'all, they gone. My famine removed, y'all, and they were never seen the games until like a couple months ago, but that's another vigilant for another times, y'all. Now, Rufus was alone again. No famine no squirms, no aliens. He was all alone in sads, and I mean sads, y'all. I looked everywhere for somewhere to stay, and unimaginably, I found a tree outside the Yales and Yalebreak City, y'all. I stayed there for like, um, I think it was like 12 year, y'all. I was happy being sad and living in a tree until one day, something awful happened to Ossifer Rufus. Hey, you! Who's me? Yes, you. Do you see anyone else around? Uh, no. No, I don't. Listen, you homeless man. This is private property. You can't just live in a tree here, okay? Oh no, please, Ossifer, don't kick me out. I have nowhere to go but this tree. Seriously? Wow. Huh, well, that's pretty sad. Yes, I'm sad all the doms, but I keep smiling because I got two teeth in a mullet. Wow. You're an idiot, aren't you? My whole lives, I believe. Yes. Hey, listen. Uh, I think I have a job for you. You do know what a yob is, yes? Yob? Yes? Ooh, we my first job! No ways! I can pay you like, uh, I don't know, 25 cents a week? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's a lot of monies, y'all! <laughs> yes. Now, how do you feel about being a police officer? No ways! I'm just gonna be a Pernley's officer? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Now come on inside, we have a lot of paperwork to fill out. Let's move it! Oh my goodness, I'm Ossifer Rufus, y'all! And that's how I became the Pernley's Ossifer, y'all! Officer Rufus, that was like your origin story. It wasn't very scary. The scariest parts was meeting Finkenberry. He made me fill out all damn paperworks. It took me like three days to finish it. There was no pictures to connect the dots. It was rude, y'all. Well, Officer Rufus, that wasn't a really scary story, but it was pretty cool. I forgot you got abducted by aliens. Wait, I got abducted by aliens? <sighs> Officer Rufus, never mind. How about I go and get us some Chipotle? <gasps> Shades! Yes! Let's go get Ossifer Rufus a burrito, y'all!